Hello everyone. I hope everyone is well. This video is titled, Will the Trojans Hit Earth in 2021? And we're going to go over a few things. Approximately 20 minutes to go over in detail and to explain a lot about these rocks. I have been keeping up with these rocks for about a year now, particular ones including the Apollos as well as the Trojans. A lot of people are not familiar with the Trojans and we're going to look at the orbit diagram and we're going to look at some areas throughout the Pacific including the northeast of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Canada as well as Washington. The second scenario is in South America in the southern part around Chile, Argentina as well as the eastern southeastern part of South America. And the third potential scenario or impact however you want to look at it would take place if it happens in Central America and it could go on either side whether it's the Pacific or the Caribbean or parts of the Gulf of Mexico and the Trojans are very different because normally the Trojans do not get interrupted. The Trojans, as well as the Greeks, because they split the two up, is in the orbit of Jupiter. And they said a comet came in to Jupiter's orbit and interrupted the orbit of the Greeks and the Trojans. And then a few months later, they changed it to what is known as the Greeks and the Trojans. So we are going to look at it very closely. But before we do, I want to talk about this video. Okay. Cash in your chips now. Time to get your house in order. And I want to thank those, the people, who put up a positive comment and received the message. Some of the people were somewhat confused and some people did not receive it at all. And I will get to that in a brief moment. The purpose of this video here, cash in your chips now, time to get your house in order. The reason is I received some information that I knew it was coming and it was basically did not state anything about the Trojans. Okay, this is the first source and it is about to happen that now there's four scenarios. Door number one, two, three, and door number four is the Trojans. It's supposed to be here sometime about the middle of August. It could be sooner or later. And this video was very controversial, Cash Into Chips. Why? Because I knew all of this was coming months ago. And I have been waiting for more evidence. Three of the Trojans did come out about two and a half months ago. One exploded over Russia another one almost impact the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida and the third one was off the coast of Washington in the Pacific Ocean and they tried to cover it up that it was a debris field from the Falcon rocket well, let me explain that debris field came in over two and a half years ago. 
So it's still more debris with a little bitty tiny rocket still coming into our atmosphere years later after it exploded. No, that's never, never a straight answer. The other thing is, uh, one subscriber a couple months ago said, you know, you told us the Trojans are coming, but they didn't. I told you you wasn't paying attention. They did, four weeks ago. So a lot of people are not paying attention. And they somewhat jump to conclusions because I'm not Mike Mike around the world, should I say. And I give advance notice on this channel six months to a year in advance. And the Trojans, I had that information approximately a year ago. And I told people they was coming. And I told people they was coming in 2021. This is 2021. And this is approximately nine months after I made that statement. And I knew about it 12 months ago. But sometimes you have to wait until you get more validation proof that has been confirmed. Now, the information I'm going to give to you, the original source that I did not talk to, is connected to Never a Straight Answer, and it was released. And I told everyone, when you get information from an astronomer, you can take it to the bank, geologists, and scientists, but when it comes from intelligence, it could change overnight, it could change within a month or two months, and I always tell people, the wonderful family here, if I receive information from intelligence, it could change, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this video I did not mention to go in debt and give blood so you can buy more food. Let me explain. You know. One subscriber, I, I don't know, Z-O-E, said, Wow, you get a lot of money to, from your donations to pay off your credit card. I spent $25,000. I'm going to give a little bit of my personal finances. $25,000 back in 2015. I paid half of it off in 16, and uh, it was some of it was put on the credit card. Sam's Club was approximately $8,000. I got it down to $3,500 right now. And Wells Fargo credit card, it was about $7,000, and I got it down to $3,500. And I get a income that comes in. Okay. It comes in every $1,500 a month, every single month. So I also sold, sold two 40-foot containers for $6,000 a piece. That's $12,000. And I put that in my savings, and I'm going to take care of that and liquidate it as much as possible. I'm not telling you anything. I'm suggesting there's a lot of people that simply do not have the money because they haven't worked in over a year. Some of them is two years, including myself. And they don't have no... I'm, I'll read the post, ladies and gentlemen. And they ha don't have the money to go buy groceries or to stockpile food. So, my suggestion was, if you still have some credit, you can apply for a credit card. And then with the, with the, should I say, momentum that you're going to pay it off. I'm paying mine off now. I'm not ripping off Sam's Club. And I'm not ripping off Wells Fargo. I would never do that. That is similar to stealing. I honestly believe that with my income and what money that I sold those two containers, I'm going to get my debt down to absolutely nothing so I can continue to move forward. 
I suggest you do the same. I'm not telling you anything. I made a suggestion. And I am not using any of the funds that is donated. It wasn't even my idea. It was from the wonderful people here. When I said I'm cutting back from four videos to three, and then I made another one, I'm coming back to two, one a week, and then one a spiritual message on Sunday. And then someone said, you know, two or three actually, said, yeah, just put up a PayPal, we'll donate $10, $5, $20, $30, $100, whatever, to keep the channel going to pay for your diesel because I live completely off the grid. In the middle of nowhere, two hours from somewhere, So I'm off the grid doing these videos for you, for you, not for me. I don't benefit from this. I am simply a researcher and trying to pass on information from reliable sources that I have co collected and made contact with since 2012. I don't benefit from this. I'm just a messenger. And I always state, you can put it in your back pocket or you can leave it on the table. I really don't care anymore. Especially with the people that are attacking me. And calling me a fear monger. I'm giving you the evidence. And if you don't resonate with this channel. And you just came through. Please don't subscribe. And if you did subscribe a few months ago. You know here for the earthquakes. And the magnetic reversal. Well I'll tell you what. There's more than that coming. And you can unsubscribe too. Because I love you. And I want you to be happy. Not sad. Over a fear monger. Okay. I want to show you a post before we begin. And I do apologize. That I have to spend about 10 minutes. Going over some issues. Dealing with a very controversial video. I was going to take it down and I told myself, no, I'm going to weed people out. Block them from the channel because they don't belong here. Okay, so let's look at a wonderful comment. So I found this one today and she wrote that she is already cashing in her chips and she's preparing to move out of a town with about 60,000 people and she's making the adjustment she found a little house to rent next month and she's selling her camper so what I'm getting at you know she's preparing and she's leaving her departure date is August the 16th and I want to say this is a wonderful post that I was hoping people would put up and she put up this one and I want to say thank you now this individual here was somewhat different and I'm going to show you why because he stated this kind of fear mongling is known to kill channels I don't care if it kills the channel or not because you know listen he better be right and many people have said this before Many people have already said this. How many people have said this already? He better be right. I have stated it. And I'm going to state it now. The rocks are going to impact the earth. Whether you like it or not. And we're going to go through a couple of videos that I did. To show you that I have been absolutely correct on these rocks and I have been studying their orbit diagram for a long long time from Jet Propulsion Laboratory but people like this you know he better be right this is kinda fear mongering when someone says that you know what I mean kinda no that's a comment on a public forum that this is fear of mockling and it's known to kill the channel. Well, thank you, Ultimate Mobile Gaming. So, you know, I consider that to be a virus and there's my vaccine. It's very simple. The other thing is, 
I invested ten. Th I donated ten thousand dollars of my own money to get this channel started. Five thousand dollars on diesel in 2019 and 20, and before that, five thousand dollars on a Hubert Packer computer, a large monitor, a sound system, audio editing, and a screen monitor and a screen recorder ten thousand dollars so let's begin this video i made a video about asteroid 2020 11 es4 and 2018 vp1 over a year ago that it was coming and it did come in 2018 vp1 came in november it's supposed to be November the 1st, right before Election Day, but it came in on November the 4th. And four of those rocks came in, and I was not concerned about it. And, you know, Jet Propulsion Laboratories. Okay. I said they was probably going to change the orbit diagram. And the very next day they did. NASA changed the orbit diagram. And it was right here by the time that Mr. T was going through the election. And it did, they did come in. Okay. Never a straight answer. Think about what to come. And that was the very first one that I did on the Trojans 11 months ago. And here's two of them. The Trojans will impact the Earth in 2021. The Trojan will impact the Earth in 2021. Safe locations. Okay. And I did this one just six months ago. I did that one for... Um, I did that for... Deep Truth, Deep Impact. And the reason... Also, I did this one was for safe location, part one, two, three, four, five, eleven months ago, because I knew the rocks was coming. I even downloaded a program for water to show how the water would come in, and I did this one, time to face your fear, part three, the message, and eleven months ago, okay. So, I know what I'm doing. I believe so. This is Deep Truth, Deep Impact, a secondary channel that only has 1,700 subscribers. And I did a lot of information over there. A lot. A lot of time in these videos because they're quality videos. They're not 15 minutes with some guys talking and then that's it. But look at it. Okay? And I got to do another one next week about a comet that came in a few weeks ago. It came out of nowhere. So this is what I do, ladies and gentlemen. I suggest that you might want to go to Deep Truth, Deep Impact and subscribe over there. Because the people over here really don't want to hear about the rocks. Some of them do. And a wonderful subscriber said Earth Changes Channel. When are you going to give us an update on the Trojans? That was a few days ago, so sister, this one's for you. Now, here's one from 2000, I mean, excuse me, 1989 and so forth. And keep an eye on those numbers. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I did not go to bed till 4 o'clock last night making that video and getting phone calls and receiving phone calls and sending phone calls to get information for these events that are taking place. Okay. For you. Because I really am not concerned about none of this because I've already prepared spiritually and I have my Campbell soup and my toilet paper and I have water and propane. Okay. And I'm talk, topping out the diesel from the donations I received. 
and I'm adding 500 of my own dollars to pay for diesel. I'm pulling that out of savings. So here in 2000, 60,000 rocks. And watch the green. The green is those that they are looking for and already found. And the, the white represents the satellite images that they are finding and always finding more and more. There's approximately 750,000 of these rocks out there. That's right. And never a straight answer says they can only receive um, images on 30% with, with validation and confirmation. But keep your eye on it. Now we're up to 370,000. And we're not done yet. Okay, we're not done. So keep an eye on that. We're fixing to go to 600,000. And we're not even entered 2012 yet, have we? And they can continue, ain't they? Aren't they? Continuing? Right? So what makes you think we're not going to get hit and it's even written in the Bible that we're going to get hurt? This is all of the ones they found. And there's more coming. Because we're moving through the universe at over 400,000 miles per hour. And Earth is like a magnet. Okay. Now here's the orbit diagram for Jupiter's orbit. You got the Trojans right there. Which NASA split them up to the Greeks. Okay. And the Trojans. So that's just a little bit. Now we're going to show you what happened, so you can understand what happened, okay? So here we go. Before we get started, you have smaller bodies, rocky, metallic, orbiting the sun out to Jupiter. There they are, three quarters of a million back in 2018. They're over a million now, from what I understand, and what I was told. And there's different groups. Now, similar orbits may differ from composites. Okay. So, if you look at Jupiter right there at the center, at the bottom, that's Jupiter's orbit. And then you can see the Greeks and the Trojans. And then you have the main belt. Okay. It's just outside of Mars. And there's the Trojans in green. Interesting, right? I'm going to show you what happened. And then when we get done with this part, I'm going to explain a little bit what's coming this way. This is the Kirkwood Gap. And this is, if you're wondering what UA is, or excuse me, I'm tired, AU, that's astronomical units. So here we go. There's Jupiter. There's the Greeks and the Trojans. This illustration's calling them both Trojans. Now here comes 2015. And what's interesting about 2015 BZ 509 is that they, it first was classified as a comet and they normally don't change the classification once they do it like comet 67P was not a comet it was a rock that was 2.5 miles wide and I did a video on that as well and that got me in trouble because my cell phone was tapped after I told people it was coming back in 2017. So it came in there and interrupted the debris field four or five times. And now they are coming torches. And I was told they're going to hit the earth. And if you don't want to believe it, they're going to hit the earth and they're not going to hit the earth. 
okay? I wouldn't worry about it. Because whatever happens has already happened before the universe was already created. You may want to watch the video. The greatest mystery of life on planet Earth has been solved dealing with researchers of ESP. Me and you was uh, meant to be here, right here at this moment, before we was ever conceived in our mother's womb. So this is our reality. And now these rocks are coming. And they're going to impact the earth. So this is what I was told. And I already knew some of it. One rock is coming related to the Trojans. And they're going to cover it up as the Apollo the identification number. It's approximately a quarter of a mile wide. And there's two other rocks. I don't have the dimension on those. This rock is supposed to hit somewhere in the Northeast Pacific Ocean around Canada or Washington. And it will cause a huge tsunami and it will set off the Cascade Seduction Zone and possible set off the volcanoes on the West Coast because that's what this type of rock can do. Unless it hits in 18,000 feet of water, then it's just going to be a big old tsunami. The other two, one is supposed to hit somewhere in South America, the southern part around Chile or Argentina, or the east side, southeast part of South America. And the other one may hit, may hit, okay? may hit somewhere in Central America it could be the Pacific side or the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean and I'm going to explain something how they take care of it I thought it would be good to include the earthquakes map right next to Google Earth as you can see what North America is going through and it's very fragile right now because of the earthquakes and I was told they was concerned about the Cascade Seduction Zone which is approximately starts in this area of this and will continue all the way up but what I want to do is before we get started I want to explain something they are not going to use scalar technology because if the circumference is larger than the rock whatever doesn't hit the rock on the on the surface the scalar technology and its circumference will continue endlessly through the Milky Way galaxy they don't want to use that what they're going to use is a super direct energy weapon and they can pinpoint it the problem is if they hit it if they hit it okay it will shatter that rock and as you know a mile is 5,300 feet so it's a quarter of a mile that's approximately 2,600 feet and it will shatter the rocks to 10 feet 20 feet 50 75, 100, 200, 300 feet, so forth. So, and 800 feet. So, when they do that, what happens now instead of one big rock, now there's multiple rocks that are coming in different sizes. So, if they do hit the rock, listen to me never straight answer is not going to glorify themselves and stated that we saved the world they're not going to do that and they're not going to tell you if they hit it or not okay they're, they're not going to say anything so what i have done is i drawed out the equator and then on the pacific ocean i cut it in half so this is Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, South 
east. Keep that in mind. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to hit somewhere here because that's not what I was told. They are concerned about this area of the fault line. All of this is the fault line right through here. Okay. And this is a major fault line, ladies and gentlemen, on the Northern Pacific Plate. Now, they stated, from what I understand, that if a rock impact this area, I'm going to just go half Canada, half the United States. So let's just say right here. The rock's not going to be that big, okay? The rock, you're not even going to see it because it's just a quarter of a mile, all right? It's not even that big. And I'm going to bring it up and show you exactly how big this indication here is, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is use this as an example so you can see exactly the size. Right there to right there is 10 miles, okay? So basically, it's going to be way way smaller than that ladies and gentlemen if I zoom out you can't you can't even see it really right so what I'm getting at a rock that big can do so much damage let's say it's just a quarter of a mile and it hits this surface okay let's say it hits this area so this area right here is 11,000 feet of water. And I'm going to bring this up a little more so you can see what I'm talking about. Right along there is 11,000 feet of water. Now, if we look at this area, you're looking at approximately 16,000 feet of water. Now, a rock coming in can be between 30, 40, and 60,000 miles per hour, impacting a scenario location of 10,000, 11,000 feet of water. So, that type of rock will impact the crust. It will hit the crust, and what will happen is, this whole area right here will be affected. Now, if you look at it like this, how far to that fault line? That's 328 miles. So that's telling me this fault line from here all the way down will be affected. You follow me? So that's why they are very concerned about a potential impact in this area setting off this fault line. This fault line has not released itself in 70 years. And if you look at the area, I'm going to bring this down so you can see what I'm talking about. This whole area right here all of these are volcanoes. Alright, this channel covers volcanoes as well as earthquakes all the time, every week or every other week. So basically, if it happens, you are looking at a scenario that will take that and turn it into this, and possibly this all along this area okay i'm going to i'm going to give you that illustration of me now, now listen many things can happen i hope and pray i'm going to be praying it does not happen but let's just say this is a 24 hour period right here and let's show you these indications are up here 
a rock that big coming in at 40,000 miles per hour more than likely is going to set it off like that okay and when that happens these volcanoes are going to go off there's no doubts so that's why they're very very concerned over this area now if you look at it like this okay that let's just say this is the center from here to there from the center of here to here well this is north east area this is north south area if you divide it again I was told northeast so that means it's very possible if I would fine-tune this it is very possible it's going to be in this area so if we change it and go here okay let's say right there approximately that area right there is 7,000 feet of water so what's going to be affected by it that's right now you see my point and we have a lot of wonderful subscribers a wonderful woman she's single and has a 10 year old boy and she's loading up food and sister I'm praying for you thank you for your comment yesterday but what I'm getting at no matter where it goes that wave I'm going to explain how that type of force I've studied and researched a object that big let's say they broke it up and it goes f to from a quarter of a mile to an eighth of a mile and the rest of the pieces are coming at 40,000 miles per hour hitting 16,000 feet of water let me explain in the movie impact and that what I showed you before we got started that came from the movie impact deep impact okay that is slow motion look a fighter jet comes in at 500 miles per hour this rock will not come in at no 500 you talking 30 to 40 50 thousand miles per hour rock impacting the 16 17 thousand feet of salt water it's going to hit the earth's crust so what could happen is this whole area could be shocked okay I'm going to show you this the, these are cracks on the earth right here from expansion and if it hits it's going to it's going to fracture all this area and then what happens here comes a wave right now I'm not trying to scare anybody please I'm trying to t help people understand okay if you go to safe locations dealing with these rocks where I downloaded the water, you can understand what I'm talking about when the water goes into the inlet. Now, that wave, when it comes in and impacts and pushes all of that water out and then the momentum rises, you're looking at a wave approximately 2,000 feet tall. And as it's increasing, it will keep a speed of approximately 500 miles per hour. That's right. So in that movie, Deep Truth, Deep Impact, it shows the water coming. Well, I'm sorry. You're not going to see it at 500 miles an hour, barely. And then when the water comes in, if you're standing on the coast, it's going to pour a vacuum from behind you because it's sucking oxygen in okay and then it, it the force would be so powerful right before it gets to you it's going to suck all the oxygen out of your lungs okay so hollywood is just hollywood this is not hollywood and then when it gets right here i'm going to show you something that right there is 15,000 feet of water
What about that? Okay. That's 5,000. So a wave coming in on 15,000 feet of water at, at 2,000 feet, it's going to double its size and go to 4,000 feet. That right there is 2 feet above sea level. That right there is 2,000 feet. So a wave coming in that big possibility can come in and double its size and go right through here. So Maui, this section could be knocked out, knocked out. This area right there, you're only looking at 18 feet. You're only looking at 2,000 feet. Maui's a beautiful place. I always want to go to that 9,000 feet. So, I would focus anywhere, if you're on Maui, I would focus somewhere in this area in case it happens, because you're not going to leave. Now, this line right here represents 1,200 feet this way. Anything is 800 feet that way. So, that area right there is 400 feet. This area right here is 500 feet. This area right here is 16 16, excuse me, this area right here is, let me find a, hang on just a second, I'm going to zoom in so people can see what I'm talking about. This area right here is 800 feet. This area right here is 1300 feet. This area right here is 5500 feet. This area right here is close to 8,000 feet. So I recommend anywhere in this area if you live on Maui. The Big Island, well, we know that right there is 7,000 feet. That's the peak. That's 13,000 feet. This area right here is 600 feet. So if that, if that wave comes in okay if that wave comes in that fast you probably got about right there and it's over you have to be in this area and of course this is all volcano area right this area right here 7,000 feet this area right here that's 3,000 feet and right there is 3,000 feet and that right there is 300 feet so they're concerned about Hawaii they're concerned about this area and this is what could happen if it comes in that water will go all the way through here just like that Okay, and this area right here is going to be underwater. All of these areas. That area right there is only 1,500 feet, 1,600 feet. That area right there is 3,000 feet. If it happens, huh, Seattle's going to be gone. Okay, and the reason I'm going to show you. When that water comes in here, in this area, right here, all of that's going to go right through here, right through here, and all of this area is going to be flooded, all of it. And the water's going to go all the way up in here, too. Okay. So, what I'm getting at is these areas right here. This is the potential impact. I went half between Canada and Washington, approximately. So, 
this area right through here you are looking at an area that will funnel in in this area right here you see what I'm getting at and when that water when that water comes in through this area what's going to happen if you take just a thousand foot wave right here this area right here that area right there is 8,000 feet of water this area right here this area here that's about 8,000 feet of water this area right here is 300 feet of water so the momentum and the will increase and then what's going to happen is this when that water is coming in here this area is going to push that water if that thing is traveling that wave is traveling at 500 miles per hour at 2,000 feet and it loot and it loses its level on the seafloor and rises up that wave could double its size and it will wipe out this whole area the water go all the way up in here you see what I'm saying and this is what the government is concerned about. Now, the second scenario. South America. We're going to cut it in half. They said this area. So basically, it's it could possibly hit in this area right here. So it could hit the water. Chile, Argentina, Peru. It could hit here. Okay. And if you and if it does that right there is 10,000 feet of water. That right there is 4,000 feet of water. So what do you think it would do? I don't think it would go over these mountains. These mountain ranks right here, that is 13,000 feet. That right there is 10,000 feet. That right there is close to about this area right here. That's 9,000 feet right here. So I believe if it came in, it would probably go at least to to 5,000 feet so all of this could be underwater I don't think it's going to go over this mountain range now it's a possibility it could hit in the water because they don't know and it's a possibility it could hit over here they don't know okay if it hits right here I'm going to I'm going to show you something that water that wave will go all the way up through here okay now, my concern is for the wonderful people in Australia. If that wave hits right there, that 
that whole area would be hit. Australia would be hit. New Zealand would be hit. Fuji Island would be hit. You see how I'm saying? I'm going to give you a, a um, illustration on a tsunami so you can understand what I'm talking about right after we look at these three locations now the third one and I don't know the size of number two or number three okay Central America well Central America is right here okay it could be on the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico or this area of the Pacific they don't know and more than likely, I don't think it's going to hit land. I just don't. I think if it if it does come in, it, chances are it's going to hit water. And then this is what you're looking at. Okay? It won't go over there. I'm just giving you an example of how far to go. So we're gonna we're gonna look at some tsunami illustrations so you can understand what I'm talking about as far as water dealing with tsunamis I think that's the best way to um, look at this okay because I'm concerned and I just want everyone to be prepared I would evacuate the coast if you live in this region right here I would evacuate the coast and I'm going to show you what a tsunami can do on the illustration. Not this one. So that wave and that big of a rock, it's going to affect the whole. Now I'm not talking about over here. Okay. I just look along the coastline. Okay. If it hits right here, this area is going to get the worst of it. And then it's going to go all the way down the coast. Okay. So, let's um, let's go check out a tsunami illustration so you can understand what I'm talking about. Shall we? So, this impact crater is in Arizona. And that is pretty wide. The rock is going, a quarter mile would make that kind of crater. Now, this is landmass sliding into the ocean very slowly along the beach or the coast. Now the reason I'm showing you this, we're talking a quarter mile rock that I believe they're going to hit it and break it up. But if, if a rock's coming in at 30, 40, 50,000 miles per hour, it's not going to be like this. No way. Now this is a simulation of Diamond Head the big island of Hawaii and see how slow it's coming in we're talking about a wave at 500 miles per hour so I believe that they are going to break it up I really do the problem is if they hit it and break it up now instead of just hitting the water it could hit anywhere water and the land it will hit the Earth's crust. It could be a major disaster, but you you know, you're talking about a rock after they break it up 100, 200, 300 feet. Like I said, a mile is 5,300 feet. So, as you can see how the water will hit the low lining areas and go around the mountains. And then afterwards, the water has to go backwards back into the ocean. Now here's the simulation for the Cascade Subduction Zone, and this is a earthquake si simulation for NOAA and the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. But I'm giving you this illustration so you can know how far a, a tsunami can go. It can go all the way to Australia if it hits in that area. I believe they're going to break it up, like I said. And if they do that, then there's no telling where it's going to go. But as you can see in this illustration, wherever it hits, 
it's gonna it's gonna spread throughout the whole Pacific Ocean Japan parts of Russia the Philippines Fuji Australia New Zealand now in this illustration is from Chile and this is another earthquake this is what I put up when I'm doing the earthquake report and as you can see if it hits in Chile it will go all the way to the north and through the other side of the Pacific Ocean as you can see this is a earthquake this isn't a rock ladies and gentlemen this is a earthquake from NOAA Pacific Tsunami Warning Center dealing with an earthquake. We're talking about, let's say they do break it up instead of being a quarter of a mile. Okay. Approximately, let's just say 100 feet, 200 feet, and they break it up. That's not going to burn up in the atmosphere. If it's 20, 30 feet, it will burn up just like... 2018 VP1 did but it was the debris field I'm concerned about what type of debris field was coming with it so it's not good I don't care how you look at it and uh, someone told me that Stephen Israeli News released some information too now I don't know Steve and I talked about the Trojans long before he did so the only thing I could tell you is that we're, we're in a solar system, ladies and gentlemen. We're surrounded. You saw the illustration I put up. There's over a million rocks out there. And if they bang and hit and bump into each other, well, they're not, you know, they're being interrupted like with the Trojans. And I'm going to keep my eye on it, but I'll tell you the truth. I think they are not going to release any of this information, you know, and I'm going to be searching and looking for anything coming in, and I will make a special announcement, okay, but the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, I don't think they're going to show it. This is highly classified information, and the only thing I'm doing is I'm giving it to you because it's already out. And you can prepare, but now we have door number one, door number two, door number three, and this is door number four. And everything is pointing to the second week of August. So something's going on. And don't forget about 37 degrees coming up in August or September. That's when it's really going to change, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what you need to know about the Trojans. So let's just chill out for a moment, okay? When you put yourself up on a public forum, rather you're running a channel or you put up a comment, people are going to criticize you, be disrespectful, and ridicule you. If someone does that to you, like a subscriber contact me this week and told me what was happening with her comment, I will address the problem. And I won't let the problem get out of hand. Because this channel, because of the controversial videos I've been putting up for the last week or two, uh huh, I'm going to be checking throughout the day. So this channel and the wonderful people here doesn't get the virus and I will do the vaccine and remove those people from this channel and I don't care anymore about the numbers of subscribers I care about the subscribers that is a part of this family because we all love each other we all support each other and we pray for each other and we help each other out. 
And that's what's so beautiful about Earth Changes Channel, isn't it? And then from time to time, we're going to have a few come through here. And they are not a part of this family. And if I don't catch it, just send me an email if you like. Eventually, I'm going to get them. And I'm going to correct them. And I'm going to remove them. So, I want to thank you all. Now, this week has been a very busy week for me. I spend more time on the computer and phone calls. I didn't get anything done here on the animal sanctuary trying to prepare for the monsoon that I'm going through. It's been raining every day here. I can't even leave to go get diesel because I want to stock up on diesel. And I can't leave. My road is, is flooded. And it's mud. And I'm not in my area. When I go down that road, it can truly mess up the road. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick it out for a couple of days. And hopefully I can go Monday or Tuesday. I don't believe I'm going to do a Sunday message. I've been staying up till 4 o'clock in the morning for the last three or four nights. Working for you. And sometimes I wonder why someone would spend... You know, the amount of money I did to start this channel with 5000 investing in the diesel. And um, I did it for you. Didn't do it for me. I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid from the... None of it. I'm just a messenger. That's all. I'm doing my best for all of you. And even though they are searching for these rocks, they can only see 30%. That is not good. Okay. I don't know when I'm going to do another video. I'm disappointed. Because about 10 to 15%, I've never seen that many posts to be so negative. Or I don't know what I'm talking about. Or I didn't explain what I, you know, I did not tell people to run out. I suggested that if you can, purchase a credit card because you have credit with the thought that you're going to pay it back. Right? That's how I did it. And I paid it down. I paid it down. And now I put my personal stuff up here dealing with my finances over one subscriber that claimed the donations was to pay off my credit cards now I think I'm going to hold off on videos for a while mm -hmm. yeah I was going to cover the fires the flooding I have to think about it A lot. I don't know how long this channel is going to be up. And I don't know how long the internet's going to be up either. And I don't know how long I'm going to do this, actually. I think I'm going to start enjoying my life. Either alone. Or with a wonderful beautiful, intelligent, spiritual-minded Christian woman, and her name is Jill, because i done my part for you, and I believe me, I'm going to chill with Jill, and I'm going to enjoy life, so I love you all, be safe everyone, continue in prayer, be strong, and thank you for yourselves, and God bless always.